everyone welcome back this is like the third time i've done this voiceover i just can't seem to do it today anyway we're gonna third time's the charm right is that what they say i don't know right this is called old school from madam glam i'm gonna do two coats of this and i'm gonna cure them in the lamp for 30 seconds because it's one of the older ones which i think just needs 30 seconds anyway four nails i'm doing i'm just showing you three here but we're gonna do four so two coats 30 seconds each and we're gonna need some base coat as well because I want to apply some glitter this is nail sugars rosy posy glitter and it's absolutely gorgeous it's like a ready pink metallic it's lovely it's like a chunky mix it's really nice but we need to apply this to our gel polish now using some base coat so we're gonna add a thin layer of base coat don't cure this um, I'm going to run my little detailer brush through the base coat just so that my the end of the brush, the bristles are a bit tacky so that it picks up the glitter. And then just put on the glitter where you want it. So for my design, I'm going to do a bit of a border, like a glitter outside edge. A glitter, not really a border. Right, look, can you see we've made a little arch of glitter at the top? We're going to make a little arch of glitter at the bottom. I will skip forward though because I take so long fart arsing about with glitter. It takes me forever. Excuse my language. Um, but once I'm happy with that, I'll pop it in the lamp and you'll see it in a minute. These are Nail Sugars Abstract Tulips decals. They're absolutely gorgeous. I haven't used them yet, so we've got to use them. Cut out your design, the design that you want, and then I like to just completely get rid of as much of the excess decal as you can see here from around the edge as possible. Place it upside down on your stamper. I, if you're not new here, you've, we've been we've done this a million times. If you're new here, place it upside down on your stamper. Dampen the back with water. I don't know why my brush didn't want to pick up water initially. I was like, are you going to pick up any water? I'm not quite sure why. But there we go. Right, dampen the back. You really don't need a lot of water. Like, don't saturate it. Just make it a bit damp. And then after several seconds, you'll just be able to slide the back off. And I just dab it to make sure there's no excess water. And then I, you just stamp it on your nail where you want it. I'm going to stamp mine as close to the center of the nail as possible. Sometimes if, um, it depends on the color of the background and what decal I'm using. Sometimes I will color in the back of the decal with white gel polish. I'm not doing that this time because the color showed up quite nicely on the color that we've chosen. Then I'm going to velvet matte top coat this. If you are going to shiny top coat this, I would go over with either a layer of base coat or a thin layer of builder gel, file it and then, then top coat it because if you go over this as it was with shiny top coat, it's not going to be nice and it's not going to be flat because the, the glitter is going to, you won't get a nice smooth light line, right? Is what I'm trying to say. But because we're matte top coating this, it doesn't show off any bumps in the nail. Do you know, what, am I explaining that very well? I'll have to do a video one day, but the velvet matte top coat with glitter just hides the fact that the nail might feel a little bit bumpy because you can't see it because of the line light. Whereas when you're doing it with glossy top coat, that that line light is not forgiving. I hope I'm making sense. Right, I'm using Madame Glam's gel paint now. This does not have a tacky layer, so we can do our design on top of a top coated nail. I've done a border around my tulip, and then I'm just gonna do some little half circles all the way around this little oval until we get to here. It took ages, but it's done. And then I'm going to throw it in the lamp for the 60 seconds. And then I'm going to do the whole thing on another nail. <gasps> and we skip forward because it would have taken ages. Actually, it wouldn't have taken that long. The most fiddly part is the was that little white border. Right, these butterflies. I love the butterflies. I'm going to grab two of the pink ones off this decal sheet. And we are going to stamp these onto the nail. I want to do a glitter swoosh, right? So I'm going to put the butterflies so that they are next to the swoosh. I don't want them to invade the swoosh. 
I think I'm making sense. By the way, this gel polish of Madame Glam's, because it is, I think it's one of their older ones. I'm not quite sure how old it is, but it does still have a tacky layer. Some of the, because they've, their formula, I think they've changed their formula because a lot of their gel polishes now don't have a tacky layer, which for me, to do net, to do decals, it's really annoying because you need a tacky layer to add the decals, right? So it's, it's really annoying. I get that people want HEMA free, but if you apply your gel polish properly and don't get it on the skin, you should be fine. HEMA, I, I'm assuming, I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, shut up Naz, I've got this bee in my bonnet about HEMA free. Anyway, um, right. Um, I'm doing a swoosh, so I've added some base coat and then I'm just adding my glitter. And this is as swooshy as it's gonna get. But can you see the butterflies are either side of the swoosh? And then again, I'm going to velvet matte top coat. And then I'm going to throw it in the lamp for 30 seconds. Right, for some reason, I decided to add some little white dots. I did take a couple of them off. I just kind of wanted them between the butterflies, sort of on the swooshy bit. I went a little bit mad with the dots and it was, it was a little bit too much, but do what you will. <laughs> Cure that. These are Preciosa Ruby Crystals. These are Preciosa Emerald Crystals. And then I'm using, I think these are Preciosa Half Pearls. But these are all available from Crystal Parade and you can save 10% using my code NATMUG10. We're going to do some crystal placement. So I'm adding my Rachel Wilder's Crystal Fix where I want my crystals. And I'm going to do a little half circle. And then I'm going to do a little droop here we're gonna have a crystal droop i don't know what you call it then i'm going to add in some rose gold caviar beads the crystal fix needs 60 seconds to cure in the lamp and then this is them done i hope you like them if you did please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing god bless love you all and i'll see you in the next one love you bye